From this video, you will learn what BDD is and why it is so popular in uh, the Agile world today. BDD stands for Behavior Driven Development, which will improve our, the quality of the software we develop when followed. TDD, you can call it a successor of uh, TDD or an improvement over TDD. TDD stands for Test Driven Development, wherein we write our test cases first as a developer or as an automation team and then we start writing our code and once the implementation or the development is done and the testing team runs the test against our code or the implementation, all the tests should pass. So initially when we write the tests, we are writing them against the requirements that our product owner or business analyst gave us. But in TDD, while we write our tests first, we make a lot of assumptions as a developer or even as an automation test engineer. There is no direct link between the tests we write and then the actual requirements. They are just oral or email. But BDD directly links the requirements or the specifications with the tests we write. The way it does it is, in the Agile world, typically the requirements are expressed as stories. That's just a term we use. And these stories usually sit in Zira or similar story repository tool or requirement repository tool like Zira. Each story comprises of some acceptance criteria along with the actual requirements and everything, the detailed explanation for a story. There is something called acceptance criteria which is put in by the product owner or the business analyst once she or he discusses it with the development team and even the testing team. So when we write our tests, we'll write those tests exactly against these acceptance criteria. So in our test cases, we'll match this acceptance criteria to a particular test. And today we have a lot of BDD plugins like jbehave for Java, Jasmine JS is for JavaScript uh, behavioral driven development testing and coding. There are beautiful tools, very easy to use. And there are plugins which can pull this acceptance criteria from Jira and then run the corresponding test cases once we code and develop those test cases. That way, if we miss a requirement while we are testing, immediately we will know. These plugins will complain, will right away show you that this particular requirement or acceptance criteria doesn't even have a test. And if somebody accidentally changes something in the code and if the test fails, we have a huge regression suit at some point as we keep writing these tests against uh, our uh, implementation, we are going to have uh, a well-defined regression suit at some point. So that's all BDD does. It actually links or gives us a direct link between the requirements and the actual implementation. And we do the tests first. At least we try to do our tests first even before we start our implementation. It is a very good practice to do BDD or TDD. And then we start our implementation. Initially when you write your tests, they will fail because there is no implementation. Then you write your implementation, run the tests, make them pass. Here are three words in which BDD can be expressed. It is given, when, then. Given a scenario when something happens, what should happen? Very similar to how we write unit tests, but again, it directly links it to the acceptance criteria. That's the only difference. For example, if let's say we are working on an airline uh, check-in system, wherein a user can come into our website and uh, do an online check-in, print his boarding pass or email his boarding pass. One simple scenario will be given a reservation, passenger reservation, when a check-in happens, then a boarding pass should be set. Similarly, you can come, come up with several different uh, uh, BDDs or test cases for your application. Jasmine uses describe it and expect. When I do the next session, I will show you how we can do BDD in JavaScript. To quickly summarize, BDD takes the TDD, which is test-driven development, to the next level by directly linking your stories your acceptance criteria with the test we are writing if we uh, change something in the future we can directly trace back to the requirements our tests will start failing etc at some point we'll have a huge regression automated suit which is very powerful especially as the software keeps evolving and changing jbehave and jasmine are two good examples of bdd frameworks out there and in the next session i will show you how to do jasmine